wanted to come in real quick and just tell you about what happened to me while I was in New Orleans. You guys who follow me know that I um, just posted videos about my birthday surprise getaway. So we were there um, on my birthday and came back today. Yeah, yeah. It's technically on yesterday. But anyway, I want to come in because I've never been in a situation that I was in yesterday. But when you know about epinephrine and the fight or flight and when the hair is on the back of your neck stand up and you that's when you know know that for you are in like that's your warning that you may be in danger or something's going to happen to you that happened to me okay never experienced this before but we were in um new orleans in the french quarters so you guys saw my videos if you were watching so we were heading back to our car the car was in a parking garage um, in a public parking garage. When we parked there, T was like, mm, she kind of was hesitant to park there because it was close to where we were going, which is the Acme Oyster House, which I love. So we was trying to figure out where to park, and we were looking at a couple of parking spaces. Because, you know, when you're out of town, you always have to be aware of your surroundings and, you know, making sure that you're always thinking of something that could go wrong. So we eventually parked at this park, public parking garage. But when we went in the garage, it was kind of deserted a little bit. So I'm, T even mentioned, she was like, hmm, no, this is a little empty. But I was like, no, nah, we probably okay. It looked pretty, you know, open or whatever. But, and it was other cars in there and stuff too, but it just wasn't full. But we're there on a, on a Tuesday, right? So it's not like a weekend where it's super packed. So we ended up parking there. Ended up going to Acme and hanging out. All the things that you saw that we were doing on the video. We had parked and went and did all that. So when we got ready to leave from out of the French quarters, after we had been walking and, you know, looking at everything, we headed back to our car. And so it's dark at this time. And then we were walking, and, you know, people walking up and down. Even it was some a lot of sketchy looking people, but I never felt, we never felt in danger or anything like that. But on the way back to our car, we were walking, and some people was walking behind us. It was a husband and a wife. Well, I just say husband and wife. It was a woman and a man. I'll say that they would apparently look like they were together. So I could hear them walking behind us. So I just kind of was, you know, I'm aware a little bit that somebody's walking behind us. But people walking everywhere. So, you know, you don't think a whole lot at first. So we head into the parking garage and they walk into the parking garage too. Listen, you guys, my heart is racing now. I'm just telling you about how amazing God is. I'm just, I'm just saying. So we walk into the parking garage and then they... I could hear, you know, hear them walk behind us. So we up on the, like, third floor. From, that's where we park. Third level. So in order to get to the level, there's this little stairwell. It's an open stairwell, but you have to go up it to go up there. So you have to go up through this little stairwell to get up there. So I remember T saying to the people behind us, it was a man and a woman. They looked like they might have been Guata from Guatemala, Guatemala, Guatemala or somewhere. That's how they, I don't know. I'm not trying to judge anybody i'm just saying it looked like they were from another country but they were behind us so t was like y'all go ahead and they're like no y'all go ahead okay so then t told me to get in front of her to go up the little staircase they followed us up the staircase okay i'm thinking they're going to their vehicle so i'm just telling you mom mm, the spidey sense what they say is spidey sense so we go up the staircase as we come up off the first level we realize that we're on the wrong level they were start they behind us so we end up Realize that we need to go up another level. They followed us up to the next level. This time I was behind T, not in front of her. And so we got, came up on the next level. All I know is the man, T said that she saw him go off that second level. And then he jumped over a fence and came up to where she, where she was. But she like, I don't know if y'all see her, she don't play. She look like she'd be ready to, she ain't scary at all, right? So when he came across, he actually bumped into her, right? But, and the woman that was with him, she was kind of quiet. But she raised her hands up like this, like, what you waiting on? Something, I don't know. All I'm going to tell you guys is at that point, that's, it's like, my life felt like it was about to flash before my eyes. Like, I felt like he was either going to rob us, put a gun on us. Something was not right. So when he bumped into her, he actually bumped into her. When he came across, I don't know where he went and why he jumped the fit, jumped over that gate and came up. But she was still behind us, right? Behind me. Because remember, I'm behind T. So when she came up and he he bumped into her, she balled up her fears like, what the, what the WTF? Like, And so he was looking kind of crazy, right? But at that moment, 
had stinks in the hair on my neck stuff. This man was up to something. But when I tell you, if there is a, 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 a worker that works in the parking garage. He just happened to be walking down from the heading toward us. When I tell you, I, everything in my, I never, I'm not a paranoid person. Like, I'm not a person who's always aware of my surroundings as, like, as much as I should be. But, ooh, y'all don't understand. This guy, how scared it felt for a split second. Like, I knew something bad was about to happen to us. And so, the guy came, this guy in a red shirt, part of the parking garage, happened to be walking like an angel girl. He came, girl, you, whoever's watching this, he came walking toward us. And at the same time, team was looking at him like, what you to do something so they ended up on the same floor but they ended up walking away like they were just kind of accidentally bumped in her right but they went over to this so we went, we went to our car and we was like we knew then because she looked at me and t looked at me like you better be ready for whatever because we both had a feeling that just something wasn't right so t looking at me like you better be ready for whatever because what we're not about to do is let anybody take us to no second location because we don't know what's going on but everything in me like they, my heart is pounding y'all like i'm telling you that flight, a fight or flight, if you've never experienced it, is real, okay? And keep in mind, it's nighttime in the garage, and there's literally nobody around. Like, this was a perfect scenario if somebody wanted to rob us, right? Or whatever. I don't know what was the plan. So, at this point, the man's walking up. The guy that works in there, a little young black guy that had on a red shirt, he was walking toward us. And I feel like that threw him off, that man, because he looked like he was about to do a, it was either for the do or die, like, I'm going to do it now or nothing, and then the man walked up, and I'll tell you about that, so I made how amazing God is, okay, so they, we watching them like a hawk at this point, so they act like they were still looking for their car, so they finally went to a car right across from us, we parked, and their car would have been facing, it was a, they were, they were at the, at the um, back end of a van, SUV type car, how about they never clicked it, they stood there, and he acted like he was writing down the tag number for what? Never clicked it. And I'm watching them like a hawk this entire time. We get in the car. We're cranking up. And I watch. Even look back. When I tell you, they never clicked the button. But they standing at the back end of this car. I don't, I don't believe it was their car. I believe they was really about to come in there and try to rob us, y'all. Like, I'm scary, teary thinking about it. Because I feel like my life flashed before me for a second. Like, what would I have done? Like, I'm in another, you know, what would we have done? Yeah, I damn mother, you know, you guys, I don't know if you know what I do, I have a concealed care, and I'm in the, I don't have, I can't, I don't have nothing, we have nothing on us, so, we was like, what in the world would we have done, so we were just going to fight for our life at this point, but I promise you guys, like, always be aware of your surroundings everywhere you go, and one thing we know now, looking back, that we should have parked in a more congested place, more not, overpacked but there were probably other places that we could have parked that wasn't so deserted maybe we should have went up higher on another floor but you know just looking back at it like you got to always be preparing your mind for what will you do in that moment right i never felt like scared in new orleans i've been there before and i know there's it's dangerous everywhere but just the fact that that opportunity fell and how it was, it was amazing that it was you know i always i'm a praying person i'm always asking god to take us where we're going and bring us back safely but when i tell you he showed up that day and showed up showed out right then because i have never felt the kind of fear i felt in my life that moment that i knew that i was about to experience something so something traumatic i knew it was it was so scary and so real so Oh, I just want to share that with you guys and ask you if just let you know if you are out and about and in places that you know that you just need, don't know your surroundings, don't know where you're at, or you just just always park somewhere where you're near people, not somewhere where somebody could you know. I guess they could get you anywhere, but for the most part, just be aware of your surroundings. I noticed them immediately walking behind us when we were walking. Definitely never be alone. I know walking around New Orleans, I noticed a lot of women walking by themselves. People walk around, like, even it was dark when we were all at Cafe um, Du Monde and all, and I see people by themselves. It's, it's just always good to be in pairs and just always looking around and don't get so intoxicated that you don't know your surroundings. Like, I knew we had some drinks, but we weren't tipsy like that, but... It was super, super scary just for a split second. And just always be, just be aware. Just be aware, be aware, be aware. And I, that made me really, oh, I'll just tell you, that has been on my, I have not thought, thought, stopped thinking about it since it happened. So I know it was a purpose for that, but I am so grateful that I am here too. Because, <laughs> baby, for a split second, I didn't know what was about to happen. So, yes, I just want to come share that with you guys. I had a great time in New Orleans, though, but, baby, I promise you, that has made me more aware. I would never. Oh, I just, I'm telling you. So, yeah, 